everyone. Welcome back to Homestead Corner. Today we are going to whip up some homemade butter. So I am seeing a bunch of people predicting lots of dairy shortages and I think that making sure we have enough on hand is really important. But in those moments where we run out of something or we have to go pick something up, we may get to the store and there may not be any butter there. Which heavy whipping cream, we can make our own butter super simple and easy. You can shake it in a jar, you can run it through the food processor, but today I'm gonna make it in the mixer, which makes this pretty much hands-free, and it is super simple and easy to do. Just a stand mixer, some heavy whipping cream, and a little salt if you want salted butter. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, depending on where you are and the cost of each individual thing, um, this can be cheaper or it can be a little bit more expensive. Currently in our grocery stores, it is $4.50 for one pound of the cheapest butter, up to about seven bucks a pound, eight bucks a pound, depending on what you wanna buy. But the cheapest great value butter is $4.50 per pound. Now, you're gonna get about a pound out of a quart. A uh, little more, a little less, depending on the fat ratio when you buy the heavy whipping cream. So this is going to also give you a buttermilk. The leftover liquid is buttermilk, so you can save that for your biscuits and cooking and all kinds of great stuff. Buttermilk is wonderful to have. Um, and I don't normally buy buttermilk because I don't use it enough. But if I have it on hand, I'm going to use it in my biscuits and baking and all sorts of stuff. So this is one quart of heavy whipping cream. Currently in our area, it is $4.98 for this great value one. So it's only 50 cents more and I'm gonna get the buttermilk. So that's not a bad trade off for me, that 50 cents. And, um, and this is so simple and easy to do. We are just gonna take, I'm gonna put two quarts of heavy whipping cream right into my mixer. Any stand mixer is gonna do this. You can do it with a regular mixer, but you're gonna have to stand there and hold it. And with a stand mixer, you can walk away and go do other small, another small project. It doesn't take too, too long, but, and you wanna check on it. But you could load the dishwasher or go toss the laundry in or, get a couple other little things done and you know that's important to me all that time everything is time nowadays my goodness I want to spend time with my family I don't want to spend it all cleaning and working <laughs> and in the kitchen it's definitely work all right so I've got just two quarts of heavy whipping cream and we're gonna turn this on and I don't want it to splash too much. If you have a splash guard, that is wonderful. I would use that. Um, so we're going to go just about four to six. Let's see. Look at this. A little bit more. I don't want to splash too much. Right about there. And I'm going to cover this over with just a towel. And just so it's not splashing everywhere. We're going to let this sit for... Eh, it's going to take about 10 minutes probably. We'll come back and check on it in five minutes. Okay, so it's been about five minutes and you can see it's getting a little bit thicker as it's going. And you want to make sure you use your whisk attachment for this, definitely. That's going to give you the most friction in there for it. So we're just going to turn this back up and keep going. And we're going to cover this back over because it is splashing a bit. So you can see we are just about to that whipped cream stage and we want to just keep going. If you want whipped cream, you can pull some out, add a little bit of sugar and vanilla to it. Um, but for butter, we're just going to keep going till we can see it separate. So I'm just going to dig in with my scraper and just pull this stuff from the sides and get it back in there so everything is getting mixed well. 
So you can see we have made it to the butter stage and all that liquid in there is your buttermilk and we want to drain that out. So I have got just a glass bowl and a thin strainer here and I've got a piece of um, muslin. It's a little stained but it's nice and clean. Um, we use these until we can't use them anymore, just little pieces. And we are going to start straining our butter through here because we want to get all that liquid out of here. If I can get this. So our butter is going to just come right out with it. I'm going to push a little bit of it off the whisk so it's not flopping all over the place here. And we've got nice chunks of butter. And each quart should give you approximately one pound. So this is just filled with butter in here. So we just gotta get that out. I'm gonna start with this bottom. We're gonna unhook our bowl. And I'm just gonna start pouring it right into our cloth. And we're gonna let that drain through. It's a little messy, but hey, what isn't? I don't know. I'm always a mess in the kitchen. <laughs> so we're gonna let that strain through there, and underneath is gonna be our beautiful buttermilk. We'll have some yummy biscuits later. So I'm just using a spatula to push all this butter out and get it out of there. Not a huge concern for every drop because we're going to be bringing the butter back to mix our salt in. But while we were here, so I just take my muslin, you could use cheesecloth for this, whatever you have, cotton cloth, something that's going to hold the butter in and allow the buttermilk out. And we're just gonna squeeze this and get as much of that buttermilk out as we can. So our butter is nice and good. You wanna make sure your hands are super clean for this. And we're just gonna keep squeezing until we get all this buttermilk out. It's just dripping now, which is good. Give it another squeeze. And that is about it. You're going to get a couple drips, and that's okay. But then I'm going to take this butter and just put it in a bowl for the moment. And look at that beautiful, yummy butter. Mmm. And I'm going to put my cloth back in, and we're going to keep going until we have all the butter um, drained out and all that buttermilk out of there. So we just got bunches and bunches of butter. So once we got our buttermilk all strained out, I got just over a quart. It is filled right to the top. I'm gonna pop this in the fridge. It's gonna be good for about a week. Um, so I'm gonna have to use it up, but I will use it in all sorts of baking recipes and my biscuits and things like that, any kind of breads. So the buttermilk is wonderful for those things. And we got almost two pounds of butter out of this. But right now, you've got your unsalted butter. It's just plain, nothing to it, just butter. I'm going to add this back to my mixer, and I'm going to put one teaspoon per pound into the butter. So um, if you wanted to do garlic butter or herbed butter or anything like that, now's the time you can do that. Um, you could just take your butter and put it right back in your mixer and... If you want to do part of it with herbs and garlic or whatever you wanted to put in it, you could do that now. Add your salt, your seasonings, and mix it right up. And then it's ready to be put into sticks or tubs or whatever. But I'm going to go with just salted butter because that is what we use the most of. 
and you can always take your butter and make your herbed butter later if you want to. So let's get this in here and I'm going to add one teaspoon to each pound for one pound. So depending on how much you make, if you make one or if you're a little under a pound and we are a little under two pounds so we're gonna go a little under two teaspoons and then I am just going to pull this out of there get my mixer going again and I just want to mix this so the butter is well incorporated you don't have to go crazy with it now um, and I'm just gonna go on low and just mix it a little bit to get all that butter mixed together and I will take my spatula and push it down a little bit here and there so it gets mixed together and not just in a clump. Once you've got all the stuff in there that you want, you can either put it in a jar. I've got these little, I like the squat ones. The Kerr jars have straight sides, the squat eight ounce jars, and I like those a little better because it's easier to get the butter out. This has a little shoulder in it and I don't love it as much, but that's what I have right now. So. Um, this is ready pop it in the fridge you can freeze this butter you can can this butter you can use it right away um, so depending on what you can get at your store how much things cost um, it may be cheaper for you to make your own butter it usually is but in, an, in the event that you can't get butter, this is definitely, if you can get your hands on a little bit of cream, you can make butter very easily. And um, I'm just gonna roll this into a stick. I just kinda squeeze it out a little bit. And we're just gonna fold the ends in and roll it. And this way, it'll fit in the butter, little butter dish. So you can do it that way. You can just pop it in the fridge like this, and when you open it up, you have a stick of butter. It's a little messy, but that's okay. I'm all right with messy. So that's it. Butter is really simple and easy. The stand mixer makes it so easy because you really, you don't have to babysit it too, too much, and it's gonna just do its thing. And you've got butter. So I'm gonna pop these in the fridge. That's it. Simple and easy. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.